My name is Morgan Wiggum and I work at CERN as electrical technician in the RF department. RF stands for radio frequency and uh, we're responsible for the beam acceleration inside the accelerators. So when I went to school I wasn't really interested at school, especially like English and them type of subjects. I just wanted to go out and work with my hands because I don't really like being in school. I enjoyed physics, enjoyed maths, enjoyed the, like woodwork and metalwork. So that's why I chose to become an apprentice instead of go to university. An electrician is quite a good trade, the skills are quite in demand. I did my work experience with my neighbour who runs an electrical engineering company. When I was 16 years old in the UK, I started off my apprenticeship in electrical installation with a local firm. The main sectors we worked in were domestic, commercial and industrial. So we would do everything from rewiring a house to rewiring a 66 kV substation. Then from there, I uh, completed my apprenticeship. Then I was just getting bored with the same repetitive work and had enough of working in the UK and decided for a new challenge. So I found out we're from CERN through my dad who's a physics teacher when he first came here with his school and I applied for the TTE technician training program. So I uh, filled in my CV, uh, answered the questions like what, what experiences do you have in the electrical industry and about four months later they were like oh would you like to come to CERN to work and I was over the moon, I couldn't wait to start. When I first came to CERN, I was quite took back by the size of the machines we were working on. So I was quite nervous about when I was actually doing work in case of breakers. Like I had heart palpitations for like two weeks because I never drank coffee. But the people I work with, they're very good at guiding you through your work. It's quite a nice environment to work in. My main role here at CERN is uh, the maintenance, operations and upgrades of the RF systems inside the proton synchrotron and the super proton synchrotron. That's the machine that actually accelerates the particles. Then we inject into the Large Hadron Collider, which is the 27 kilometer ring in the Jura Mountains and uh, the Swiss and French border, where we take a particle beam, accelerate it just below the speed of light, then uh, smash it into different experiments to have a look for different particles. We uh, operate the radio frequency systems, which involves large tetrode style amplifiers. We inject signals from the Faraday cage to control these systems around about 90 meters underground into the cavities where the beam is accelerated. The experiments reveal what actually created the universe. It's a pretty cool place to work. When I first started at CERN, I thought I'd just be wiring, connecting cables. And when I started in the RF group, we developed the crab cavities. We'll now be able to make uh, the surface area for the collisions bigger. So we're hoping this will achieve new discoveries. We've developed uh, machines for cancer treatment, which is quite quite a nice feeling. You know you've had your part in that. Every day you're working cutting edge stuff for the greater good uh, physics and nuclear research. I think one of the best things I enjoy about my job is I live in France but work in Switzerland. I quite like kayaking Then decided to take up skiing again. And uh, my mum likes us working here because she gets a nice Swiss chocolate every year at Christmas, which is quite nice. <laughs> you work with everybody from technicians, physicists, Nobel Peace Prize winners, in a large multicultural and diverse environment. You get to learn a new language. So the main language I work with is French, so that's quite cool. So I get to learn French while I work. When I went to school, I was like, when will I ever need this then? Six years later, I was like, oh, okay, I need to learn French. <laughs> My time here at CERN has given me uh, new opportunities and new experiences to take away from here. Now an approved overhead crane operator, qualified to work in radioactively contaminated areas, completing my AutoCAD Level 1 electrical design, much better working under pressure. It's uh, quite stressful, but you yeah, do learn a lot. I think if you want to be a good technician in any place, just stick in, work hard and try and learn as much as you can. And if you don't know, just ask, because it's better than destroying something. I think anybody who's thinking about taking a technical subject, just go for it. You won't look back. If you get skills or in demand, you'll be set for life.